Ever since a young and I had big dreams Rolling off a sandy like a damn fiend Headache pray I never make it Only way to get it is to take it Ever since a young and I had big dreams Rolling off a sandy like a damn fiend Headache pray I never make it Only way to get it is to take it Ever since a young and I had big dreams Rolling off a sandy like a damn fiend Headache pray I never make it What's up everyone, we're back and today we're going to cover the third rule. Of course there's more rules in terms of the music industry, but I came up with my top three and the third one is protect yourself. Protecting yourself consists of certain things as far as your intellectual property, your health, of course your security, and your money. You want to be in charge of your money and know where it's going. Uh, this rule is very important and it's just as important as the first one. Intellectual property, I mean lawyers, contracts, trademarks, yourself, as 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 in total like your company um your music is very important you guys gotta protect it as far as hard drives and whatnot producers you gotta get proof of when these projects were made even artists screenshot it video record it whatever it is you gotta get some type of proof when you create some of these files on the computer it'll tell you the dates that it was made just in case in the future if you ever go to court or anything happens you got proof so it's very important as far as protecting yourself. Next is health. Health is very important because you want to be healthy as far as being on the road and you got to train your body and mind. You got to keep this militant mindset. You know, um, every artist does drinking, smoking, drugs, ends up slowing you down. You got to keep this mindset of training and, and, and being on the road and, and having that energy. So your health is very important. Next is security. Security, of course, is important for everyone is number one um here in florida we're allowed to carry a gun i don't recommend it for everyone but if you're an artist um i recommend you carry a gun it depends what city what state you're in the gun laws or whatnot if you don't want to carry a gun i mean that's what we have security for you you, you hire security you know but <clears throat> it's very important on how you move um who you keep around you what you post on instagram if you some of you artists are beefing or whatnot um don't be live streaming and posting where you're at i've had artists come to the studio and they let us take pictures and videos but they tell us um not to post it until they leave you know that's very smart they don't want to know people let people know exactly where they're at at that time and this applies to all artists you know any genre the minute you become a celebrity you become a target so it's very important that you uh, protect yourself you know uh, learn how to move in different events and clubs you know, you come in one car and leave in another car. You come in one entrance and you leave through another exit. You know, um, when I say keep people around you, keep the right people. You don't want to keep people with a short fuse and things like that. It's going to cause more trouble. You know, you're better off riding by yourself. Uh, next, your money. Very important. Get yourself an accountant, financial advisor, whatever it is. But you want to be in charge of your money. You want to have a bank account. You want to know what's going on you want to monitor everything i don't see an artist that don't even know who put their song on itunes they don't know who's collecting it you know it's like they're clueless to some of these things and it's very important that you protect yourself even with taxes and irs you don't even want to get into that so make sure you got an accountant that is going to do your tax return and that's going to make sure you pay the taxes you need to pay these things is very important <clears throat> as far as accounting your money and you want to know, you want to be in control. You don't just want to know, you want to be in control of your money. So it's very important you protect yourself with those things. Another thing I left out <clears throat> that's very important, it should be number one, is a praying. Praying goes a long way. I don't know if you pray or whatnot, but I recommend you do. Even on the road, there's places you could pray. I don't know where your religion is, but you'll always find a spot. And it will take you a long way. It's very powerful. In a minute, I'm going to go to the other studio. Well, I think he's in the office and uh, ask some questions of my boy Dash as far as intellectual property and contracts and having lawyers in the room. If you're going to sign any paperwork, make sure you have a lawyer review it first or have them in the room. You know, if not, you're setting yourself up for failure. So I figured I'd ask my boy Dash some questions. Nobody knows it better than him. Mr. Clay, what's up, Dash? What's good. I'm over here talking to everybody about. <clears throat> Rule number three, which is protect yourself. So I wanted to ask you. Always protect yourself. How do you protect yourself? Me? Yes, sir. Glock 43. 
<laughs> well, we're talking music wise. Oh, music wise. <laughs> but well, it's just me. exactly. That's how. That's how. Music wise. Rule number three. Point the rule. Uh, the most important thing is copyright. That's probably like the main thing that most artists seem to forget that they need to do, and 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 that most have misconstrued that they can do the poor man's copyright and send it to themselves. That doesn't actually work. Uh, but and copyright is, is the most important. And thing. you're talking about per song. Per song, per album, per project, everything that has to be copyrighted has to be copyrighted as, a, as a, an entire situation. So if you're releasing a single, you need to copyright the single. If you're releasing an album, you need to copyright the entire project. Um, I think it's $55 on copyright.gov or something like that, but it's essentially pretty easy. A YouTube video watching, or you can watch a video and learn how to do it in 10 minutes. That's, that's pretty much it. I mean, per, Glock 43 or copyright? I would go with copyright, you'd probably get in less trouble, but copyright.gov is, is generally the best way to protect yourself. The second best way to protect yourself, which is probably even just as important, if not more important, is a lawyer, of course. Um, you gotta do your research. It, a lot of times it helps to know somebody that knows somebody that knows a lawyer so that you can be introduced and kind of find the right lawyers, kind of like finding the right manager, but most artists need to know that it's important to have a lawyer because there's so much legality that goes into these uh, these mergers and these deals and these signings and publishing and stuff like that. And, and a lot of these labels, um, they take their time with these contracts. So like, don't feel rushed to have to sign anything like right there on the spot because I can tell you from experience that most contracts take a couple of days, if not a couple of weeks sometimes. Uh, it's a lot of money you're dealing with, so it's not like people are just gonna release it from a signature. Um, but take your time, be patient with it, find the right lawyer, That that's really actually the second most important step, if, like I said, if not the most important. So, very important you protect yourself. Um, there's other things that go into it. I'll go more in depth throughout certain blogs coming up in the future. But if you guys got any other questions, Leave a comment below. I'm going to put an email so you guys could actually submit me some of your projects. Uh, whatever you're working on. Beats, music, even if it's artwork or videos. Submit it. If I like it, you know, I'll give you guys a shout out. I might put it up on one of my blogs. I might call you to come to the studio. You never know. <clears throat> so leave a comment. Let me know what y'all want me to talk about in the next video. And um, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your people to subscribe. I'm going to keep giving out free game. I'm doing this to help artists, producers, DJs, anyone in the entertainment business that wants to get in the game. I want to give you an insight of things that I've seen from my experience. I don't want to see some of y'all make the same mistakes. And that's pretty much it. Those are my top three rules, which is this ain't for the weak. Don't just do it for the money and protect yourself. If you got that mindset and you're entering the game with that mindset, you know, you're not going to sell yourself out. Like, you're not going to set yourself up with failure. You know, don't go around expecting shit from people. You know, depending on people's whack. You know, of course, you want people to pull connects and things like that. Of course, you want your team to depend on, but don't set yourself up for failure. Don't keep your hopes up. You know, it's a lot on what you do as far as yourself, your effort. It's one thing to make music in the studio, but it's a whole other thing to market yourself to make a character for yourself, show people who you are, promote your music, take it to iTunes, do the whole business behind it. It's a whole nother thing. These days, it's, it's, it's a lot of work being an artist, not just making music. Till next time. Ever since a young and I had big dreams, rolling off of Sandy like a damn thing. Headache prayer, I never make it. Only way to get it is to take it.